Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC and Arctic Director. Today a bit longer vlog. We got a gift from our friend Steve in USA and I really wanted to show you this but I wanted to wait until we got the computer so that we could make a good and really quality uh, review of what was in this gift box. And the box was quite quite big. Uh, I don't even know where to start so I'm just going to start anyway and talk a little bit about the things that we got. So first of all we got some engines, some glow engines. We got this uh, beautiful KMB uh, 61 uh, glow engine two stroke with muffler of course of course and then we got this flat top OS 32F <laughs> beautiful uh, these motors we will have plane for, uh, planes for uh, in a little while uh, why that is so I'm going to tell you uh, and I got some beautiful caps the K and B caps, the blue one, this one I like. Uh, Elna got this yellow one, and Steve's friend Lori, she put on this uh, patch on top of it, so it says Craft Radio. Beautiful, and thank you so very much, Lori, for the effort and the gift. Elna really loves it. Um, Another thing was that uh, Steve gave me a craft radio uh, in a gift earlier. Uh, this one was meant to be like a display radio standing in our vintage cabinet when our studio and the garage is, uh, is um, done. And um, I really wanted to try to make this radio work but then Steve went and sent me another one. So what he sent was this beautiful piece of radio. This is a 1973 Kraft radio and it's fully functional. What he also did was sending me uh, <laughs> a receiver hooked to some servos even though he sent me a receiver and a receiver battery like that. We're going to extend the antenna and put it down like this connect the battery first the radio always the radio first and then the receiver <laughs> like that and in this clinch you have like four servos which works so I actually got an old craft radio from 1973 that works. I'm a vintage guy, I love these things. But not only me and Anna got some gifts from Steve and his family, uh, Steve's mom sent my daughter a gift. My daughter doesn't live here in Meam, she lives in Trondheim, but they wanted to send her a gift anyway. So I took picture of this and sent to my daughter and my daughter says to Steve's mom, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much, I loved it. That's her own words. And perhaps she would, uh, would uh, write it in the comment section in this video, of course. And what Ma Steve, Steve mom's, <laughs> Steve's mom gave my daughter is this beautiful crystal ball with, let's see if you can focus on it, with a little angel in it and glitter like snow. So beautiful. So to Steve's mom, thank you so very much. I can't put the right word on the feelings uh, getting all this but we are just blown away it's such a nice thing to do 
Um, he also sent us uh, spare parts like servos and so on that he has uh, he had laying around. Uh, these will for sure be a part of the new planes with the motors and the vintage radio and we will do a great job on flying it I hope. Uh, Steve also sent us a lot of pictures uh, by email and also uh, ordinary pictures and here you can see one of the pictures is of the swamp boogie that Elna got from Steve, the boat, during the building process. Uh, a lot of other pictures which I'm not going to show you but beautiful pictures of model um, airplanes and Steve's uh, projects and so on. We got a ton of new magazines, uh, RC related and plane related magazines. I have spent so many nights reading those and there are so much history, there's so much beautiful stuff in these magazines. Thinking about that I have done this for about 10 years now and some of these magazines are from I think 1965 or something like that and how the technology has evolved uh, from, to, uh, from what it was back then and what it is today. One of the most uh, heartwarming things that we got in this uh, gift was something that I got from Steve's mom and that is uh, this picture. Uh, it's original and it's so great and even Elna told me that we are not going to have this in the studio, we are going to have it here in our living room. And you can see for yourself. I hope you can see it. Flying is the second greatest thrill for a pilot. Landing is the first. Another picture that is going into our studio is this beautiful picture. Uh, Croft Radios 1964 to 1973. It's like Christmas all over again. All this and many many handwritten letters. Um, I, I don't want to write uh, or uh, read the handwritten letters to you guys because I think they are personally or personal personally personal they are personal and but anyway I want to say thank you so much to Steve and his family for all this beautiful stuff and things so this is a little about the gift and we are uh, soon heading for Ringebu uh, we are going to uh, make a vlog from our vacation. We are going to try to post daily, uh, if not daily, uh, um, every second day I hope. Uh, I talked to Elna about it and she thinks that, uh, that it is a good idea. Um, we are going many places and we are going to drive the coast of the south, uh, south of Norway. Uh, and we are going to visit some other flight clubs as well, not only Ringebu, but of course Ringebu is the big event this year. But anyhow, a long vlog. If you want to support us, please check out uh, Patreon, make a pledge. Have a great day and I'll see you at the airfield.